Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share my experience with a fingerprint reader. So the requirement was to access this fingerprint reader from web application, so from a browser. So I decided to buy Digital Persona 4500 because it was easily available on Amazon. And then I was trying to figure out how we can access it you know, what is the best way using JavaScript and, you know, HTML. Um, so it wasn't easy, but I managed to get at the end. So I decided to share this knowledge. Um, so let me show you an example uh, here, a demo. So as you can see, the device isn't connected yet. Um, so I'm going to plug in. So device is now connected and then refresh um, still not working the reason why it's not working is because the brave browser that i'm using for this demo uh, has a shield the protection uh, security thing turned on by default and i have to enable it uh, so i have to enter the local domain that i use so once we go back and refresh, we can see the device successfully. Okay, so let me go to capture screen and it is ready to go. So press the start button. I'm putting my finger on. Here you go. So my, my thumb is scanned and and then the image is available in a PNG format. That's what I selected. But as you can see, there are other formats available as well. And then I can export it and then use it. So, so you, the use case is that once the finger is fingerprint is scanned, we can do uh, with that data whatever we like to do. So either we can send it to a third party biometric authentication provider or it could be used you know, locally if, if the authentication is on, on your own server, which is not recommended, but if you are, if you decided to host, uh, you can use that locally. But the whole idea is the fingerprint reader is accessible through a browser application. So in order to access it, it's not really simple a matter of plugging in and then, um, you know, launching your uh, HTML JavaScript applications and then you can see the um, fingerprint reader straight away. Um, that's not the case. You have to install Digital Persona Light Client. Uh, there is a Digital Persona Client which is a commercial version and this is the freeware which is very lightweight and it's only providing it's just being the bridge between browser and the hardware. So once it's installed on Windows um, and it will run as a service so every time you reboot your machine it will, will be automatically there once um, it's there and then it's plug and play really so you can unplug and plug back in your reader will be available to your application straight away and if you happen to have more than one and all the devices will be listed here as well okay and and how the application is accessing the, the fingerprint reader, the hardware is is this is where the magic happens. So the this software, this uh, light client provides a service. Um, so it's a, it it provides an API through localhost. So that's where you can see whenever there was a problem, uh, the shield was enabled. We could connect to the to the local service. So as soon as the shield was uh, we added the exception to the shield we were able to connect to the device you know on the local host at this port so once it's connected a uh, web application can talk to the device through an api so it's a web socket so once this is done um, the web application can talk to the device and retrieve data and then you you can you can plug in any logic you would like to uh, do afterwards so once the image is there 
So um, this is everything I, I wanted to share. And a the sample web, uh, web-based demo is available on my Git repository if you prefer to download and have a go. Thanks very much. Thank you.